Hamas is a terrorist organization along with Islamic Jihad that are fueled and funded by the regime in Tehran. Good morning. My name is Kim Brunson. I'm reporting from Jerusalem here for CFI News Insights. Now that the hostilities have ceased somewhat, I want to quickly review what has gone on here and outline to you as believers out there how you might pray in agreement with those here in the land regarding Israel. There was a physical conflict here, certainly, but most of this conflict has to do with the international narrative that is taking place in the international community, how nations perceive this conflict, how the media has portrayed this conflict. We want to make certain that you see it from a point of view of biblical truth regarding the times that we live in here in Israel. First, it's important that you understand that Hamas does not represent the hearts and minds of most of the Palestinian people, and certainly not the Arab peoples of this land or anywhere else in the Middle East. They are pawns of the Iranian regime, just as Hezbollah is. They are a terrorist organization, and unfortunately they have established themselves as a power broker in the Gaza area. This conflict is operating on three different levels. There's obviously the military level, the conflict that happened between IDF and Hamas regarding rocket fire and the response by the Israeli Air Force. The second level are the physical altercations that occurred in many of the municipalities in Israel between Arab and Israeli communities. And the third is the uh, false narrative that is out there internationally which uh, causes the battle to go on in the media. Much of what you have viewed on mainstream media has been used to demonize Israel, their policies, their military, their police. It's important to know that many of the things have been staged. Uh, selective editing of film that has gone forth to the media outlets, uh, manipulated by news sources or TV. And we are actually here in the land. We're not receiving information as hearsay. We are seeing some of these uh, events. Some of us are experiencing some of these events uh, in too real a fashion. So uh, when we see narratives that are presented by those who have never been to the land, have never had a relationship with an Arab or a Jew, don't have any faith concept at all, and don't have any historical basis, particularly based on what the Bible has to say about the history here. CFI is here to serve all the communities of Israel. We are apolitical in that manner. Our service here is based on our faith to bring truth, which is in this book, to allow us to really process the events of recent days in the land. In Zechariah, the 12th chapter, in the second verse, it says, Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling, a cup of drunkenness to all surrounding peoples when they lay siege against Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall happen in that day that I will make Jerusalem a very heavy stone. For all peoples, all who would heave it away, will surely be cut in pieces, though all nations of the earth are gathered against it. There are certain nations that are already gathering against Jerusalem. The God of heaven is setting up uh, his judgment of those who are not aligned with his covenant promise for this land, this people, and his faith. We are CFI Jerusalem. We are here in the land. And we are truly Christian friends of Israel.